we're finished with the valve body area and about to begin work in the transmission drivetrain. I'm glad to see you back. This is Project 4L60E Part 1 Lesson 6. The disassembly continues with the removal of the servo assembly, front pump, and the input drums. You'll need the following tools. 13 millimeter socket, extension, ratchet, locking pliers, mechanics pick, small and large screwdriver, a hammer, and safety glasses. As you can see, I've repositioned the transmission upright to make our work in the next section easier. We'll begin with the removal of the servo located here on the side of the case. Wear glasses to protect your eyes for the remainder of the transmission disassembly. Tap the servo cover to loosen it up from dirt buildup. Clamp the locking pliers to the cover. Use a small screwdriver to pry out the snap ring. Pull out the cover to expose the O-ring seal. Take a small screwdriver or mechanics pick and pull out on the O-ring. Rotate the cover back and forth as you pull out the seal. Eventually, the seal diameter will get small enough to let the cover be removed. Leave the O-ring on the cover. Gently pry out on the rest of the assembly. There is a spring which normally remains in the bore. Remove it, place it over the apply pin, and set the entire assembly, including the snap ring, on the bench like so. Front pump removal begins with removing the O-ring located here. Put it with the small parts. As I've said before, don't discard anything yet. Even though parts such as gaskets and O-rings will be replaced with new ones, save the old ones for comparison later. Use a 13 millimeter socket to remove the seven pump to case bolts. You cannot simply pull the pump out because of the tight fit of an O-ring seal between the pump and case. The simplest and fastest way to get the pump out is to pry up with a large screwdriver. But first, let me demonstrate a professional tool I don't expect you to have. It's called a pump puller. You put it over the stator support and tighten these bolts. As you turn the main screw against the input shaft, the pump is lifted out. Finish lifting it out by hand. Set it here on the bench.
As I mentioned before, a large screwdriver will do the job, but be careful. Pry up gently and frequently move the blade to avoid cocking the pump. Remember, aluminum is a soft metal. Don't let the tip of the screwdriver gouge the underside of the pump. Be patient and work a little slower during this step. If you get to a point where the pump seems stuck, it may have become seized. Use a hammer and lightly tap it back down and begin prying again more evenly. Set it on the bench in an area similar to the way I do. If your transmission is a 2004 or newer model, it will not have a pump to case o-ring seal. Instead, it should have a metal clad seal like this. Gently pry it from the case with a small screwdriver and set it under the pump. If the pump to case gasket remained in the case, remove it even if it tears and place it on the bench. Like this under the pump. Pulling up on the input shaft will remove the reverse input and input drums together. However, we must first relax the band around the reverse input drum where it is anchored on one end by the pin in the case. Let me jump ahead and explain without the input drum in place. The band and anchor fit together like this. When installed, it looks like this. Now let me show you how to do it with the drums in place. Even though you saw me move the anchor pin in and out of the case easily, it's usually below the case surface and too tight to remove from this side. Normally, it must be tapped out from the other side of the case using a small hammer. Use a large screwdriver and lift the band over the anchor pin like this. Notice how the band spread. Now the input shaft and drums come out easily. Set them on the bench here. Remove the band. Place it around the drums. Remove the anchor pin. Tap it out if necessary. Put it in the small parts box. This completes the disassembly of the front half of the transmission. Meet me in lesson seven to begin removal of the rear section.